In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen My dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light reflection on the day's readings It's the 7th of October Monday of the 27th week in ordinary time Today we celebrate the memorial of our lady of the rosary and we mark today world habitat day and world cotton day we pay attention to the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37 at that time a lawyer stood up to put jesus to the test saying teacher what shall i do to inherit eternal life he said to him what is written in the law how do you read it and he answered you shall love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself and he said to him you have answered correctly do this and you will live but he desiring to justify himself said to jesus and who is my neighbor jesus replied a man was going down from jerusalem to jericho and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed leaving him half dead now by chance a priest was going down that road and when he saw him he passed by on the other side so likewise a levite when he came to the place and saw him passed by on the other side but a samaritan as he journeyed came to where he was and when he saw him he had compassion he went to him and bound up his wounds pouring on oil and wine then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him and the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper saying take care of him and whatever more you spend i will repay you when i come back which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers he said the one who showed him mercy and jesus said to him you go and do likewise the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ you have answered correctly do this and you will live you almost wish that this scholar of the law could have stopped while he was ahead yet correctly identified the greatest commandments love god with your whole being and love your neighbor as yourself everything was going well even jesus approved but then he pressed on luke tells us it was because he wished to justify himself he was testing the limits of the commandment how far did he have to go in order to be justified exactly who qualifies as this neighbor he was expected to love did jesus sigh or roll his eyes we don't know 
what we do know is that jesus took this opportunity to tell a parable to illustrate that his command to love has no limits loving your neighbor includes taking care of a stranger it includes helping someone you think of as an enemy it includes risking yourself for someone caught on the margins the scholar seemed to want to soften the law and exempt himself from any obligation to some of his more needy or less acceptable neighbors but let's not be too quick to point fingers at him we have probably all wondered what is the least we need to do to get by or maybe we have tried limit the commandments so they did not require quite so much sacrifice that's why jesus tells us how far we should go in order to follow his law of love but how do we do that how do we imitate the good samaritan by paying attention to the people at the side of the road we can begin with the people right in front of us instead of passing over them we can be sensitive to their needs even the ones who bother us or drain our patience if we can do just that we will begin to experience the spirit expanding our hearts it might sound challenging but remember that the spirit lives in you to help you live in god's love loving god puts you in touch with his limitless mercy and that mercy provides the fuel for you to open your heart and your hands to the neighbors who most need your love jesus help me to embrace your limitless mercy teach me how to love amen brothers and sisters the responsorial psalm praises the steadfastness and eternal quality of god's word just as god remembers the divine covenant forever so too the truth of the word of god cannot change people may use different words to explain the truth but the truth does not change let's pray that psalm now your response The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. I will praise the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. His handiwork is justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, wrought in uprightness and truth. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has sent redemption to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. His praise endures forever. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. my dear brother and sister on friday and saturday that is 11th and 12th of this month we have two days charismatic convention preached by carmelite fathers diocese and priests and brother prakash tisusa from bandra the retreat begins at 8:30 in the morning going up to 
four thirty in the evening. Those are government holidays. You are requested to participate in this retreat and also inform the others. And we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Father Boniface de Souza, Father Vinod Lobo, both are Carmelites, Janice Lenora Crasta from Loreto, Mangalore, Kiara Montero from Mumbai. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. Floyd and Stella Fernandez from Dubai, Marita and Vincent Gomes from Tenerimaki. are celebrating their wedding anniversary today congratulations dear friends may god bless your family life and we pray for the departed soul of catherine dikunna from mumbai and catherine and joseph fernandez from attur karkala may the lord grant them eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye kuni thane lazalar mujhe sirshi yeu ani piyo जुआवच्या सत्पे अध्यंत जे जुंदिवचे आपोणे जे जुचा या आपोणे आक पाळो दिवनो बाळोक जे जुचे पुनशेत कारमेल गुडो बिकरन कट्टे मंगलोर मांडून हडता वयसिस 2026 ऑक्टोबरचा 11 आणि 12 तारखेर दोन दिसांची रेती सक्रमेंतचे कुरपेन बुरवशचे वाटेन या विषयचेर सकाळींचा 8:30 ताऊन संजेचा 4:30 वरा पर्यंत आपोणे येऊया जेजू कुरपे जरी तावून पियोया आमचे जीवन पावन करिया